space. Come in. Yes, sir. Uh, good to hear from you. I admit that man's message fell short of reassuring me. Of those reinforcements he spoke of arrived, I tried to intercept their response to no avail. Nothing like that happens. There's something off with those people, Astrogator. I mean, more than I expected. Are you talking about reinforcements, or have you met anyone else? There were two more men with him. Completely wiped out. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Rahitra, on the other hand. Yes, Doctor? I don't know what's wrong with him, but he didn't remember me this morning. Oh, I haven't told you the most important thing. Condor's here. Condor? Yes. HQ messed everything up. It was Condor that was flying to Regis Three, not the Invincible. And that was some time ago. I'm following the transport that was headed there. We need to get to the bottom of this insane story. Excuse my blunt language, Yasna, but I'm gonna beat the living shit out of our spies. I'm counting on it, Astrogator. No idea. Rahitra didn't tell me anything about it. Ah, he started the ball time. circumstances I wouldn't count on I know I promise to do it so I will besides he'll only leave when he's certain that reinforcements won't arrive and I don't want to be stuck in that cave with him forever I've driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. Um. 
there's several options here. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile. Compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? Using an open Good channel to your Over. How's it going? Are you the receiving this so estimator? Milos, what do you think? What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. Perhaps the higher-ups can do something.
there's a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energobot somewhere. But I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although... Boulders are blocking the way. So even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. It's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Uh, wouldn't make much sense. Please keep looking. Transporter. They're here. It's standing still in front of the force field. Is that Milos convoy? I'll confirm soon, but yes, inside. most likely. More than one. Two. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. in. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Oh, they must be in the back. Oh, the door won't budge. Power's off. Moment of truth. It's on. Did the door open? Not exactly. The inner door is still locked. And the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors have... Wait! The back door opened. Oh. No. What? what it's vehicle. It? It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness. With no chance of understanding what's going on. Sorry you have to see that. The number of registers, 428. Playing in broadcast mode. You found more of those? No. It started automatically. Hello, Condor. This is Ro Hitcher speaking. It's day 26, time 805. I'm continuing my search for the missing crew. I've checked the excavation area. I get Three steps I've walked in my entire Time life. Eight zero five. You noticed anything? I'm still Astrogator, searching for the missing crew. They're I've dead. checked the excavation area. And they died but... in such a gruesome way. I'm not there was no one else. The recording. We need help. It's playing over and Conference. over. I know. Please. It's jammed. Over and over. It's, it's not the same recording. Hello. It's the same thing Conference. over and over again. This is real history. Dates. Dates. Times. Day 26. But they're different times. Eight zero six. Oh, I'm shit. returning is that from the memory? excavation site. We already know. I was looking for me, others, however, but this is they were no it. longer there. I'll continue my search. All these recordings have the same come to your support. He's been here for far too long. Come back. Far too long not to receive help from Condor. Hello, Damn. Condor. 
Nobody will come. I'm afraid there's not a soul here on this damned planet, except for the three in the cave. I'm listening. Let's skip no along to the there. rest of the record. I'll continue my search. Can you search. stop them? No We're way. For I'm not going back there. Come back, will you? Let's change Over the channel. Now. One notch Hello, Condor. That's what I can do. This All right, broken. we'll talk to you in a second. Ah, much better. Agreed. Astrogator, Rahitra is firing off flares. He doesn't realize yet that no one else can see them. Except me. If I don't snap him out of this damn loop, he'll keep doing it until he dies. Or goes insane. Yes, I understand the tragedy of this man. You want to save him. You want to save one more life. Three. Three more lives. Flares must be. I, I found a direct route. I'll be on the hill soon.
hiding is near. Master, back already. I... I found Milos. So quickly. Where are they? Tell me what's going on. Yes, sir. You have to tell us. <sighs> Calm down. I'll tell you everything. Maybe you should sit. Come on, talk to me. I don't want to sit down. The cloud got to them. Not far from here. We have to get them out of there. Help them. Rich, right? You wanted me to speak. So hear me out. It happened a very long time ago. They're all dead. Nobody came for them. I don't think there's anyone alive there anymore. On Condor or anywhere else. What are you talking about? Every night, you forget about the events that happened after the clouds attack. I may be forgetting things. You've already proven that to me, but I... I can't have forgotten that much. You've been in this condition for a very long time. How... how long? How long have I been like this? 428 days. At least... that's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. What the fuck?! No! That's impossible! I'm sorry to bring such news, Doctor. but I want to help. You don't have to wait any longer. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Hurry, Doctor. Copy that. Is that one of yours? What does he want? It's our astrogator. He's warning us of the approaching cloud. Quick, get us to the hideout. Now, move! Can it get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. What the fool? Can't you stop him somehow? He'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see. You can't beat him, join him. You have a much better chance of surviving if you stick together. What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh, uh... Thought so. The emitter's energy system is the Here, medical. take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. Sounds simple. Check, check. Hey, over. Let's stay in touch. Copy that. Let's get it closer. I don't see it. Soon it'll be within range of the guns. It's coming from the east, over the hill.
on the ship to have survived. Do you? I'm not that naive. I need the Condor itself. In order to? Have the entire arsenal of our flagship at our disposal. We might be losing now, but it doesn't mean we can give up. We'll send the Cyclops out to fight. Cyclops? That's a code name for? It's more of a moniker. For an 80-ton machine with firepower exceeding all Antimates combined. We usually use it in conditions of high radiation, contamination, enormous pressures, and temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. So it doesn't depend on the surface. But I hope you're right. Because I've heard about your power more than once. I and all I see is one defeat after another. In this case, Yasta, it's not just empty boasting. Sending the Cyclops somewhere is... is like giving the task to the devil himself. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasna. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Condor right away, or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Somehow it does not surprise me. Let's fly. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. Now. 
You had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. <sighs> Didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. He's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he think? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah, what does it look like? I must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret. From a sort of like a massive, heavily armed spinning top. Spinning top? Hmm, huh. that's unexpected. Without spirit. Without glory. Glory? I'm thinking out loud. This cruiser of theirs seems so powerful. Worthy of the mightiest space conquerors. Yet on this planet, all that awaited its crew was death. Not glory. If only we could get hold of its blueprints. There's one more thing, Yasta. And this is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while. But so far, everything indicates... What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, they'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. In other words, it solves the mystery of why they're coming here. They were a rescue mission. And we were treating them like enemies. I'm boarding. I'll talk to you soon, Astrogator. Stay in touch, Yasna. somehow. What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. Rahitra, come on. Don't be silly. Over and out. Rahitra. Oh.
it or not. I'm coming to you, Rahitra. Okay. Not quite at the bridge yet. But I'm getting closer. Much closer, Rahitra. be the medical wing. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Was Rahitra here? Different sections. Different elevator cards? Ah, oh, they really overdo it with the security measures around here. I guess I still have some time to look around. trying to slow me down. I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but... <sighs> Never mind. Dear Ackfield, ready to activate. Spherical thrower. anti -pop. Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. You're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. Uh, all right. Have it your way. Okay, I'm ready. What am I looking at? It'll be... Number five, a long-range one, it sees the entire perimeter. Better switch to a closer one. There's the Cyclops. Great. Force field activation. I confirm. Field active. The clouds within reach. I'm shooting. The close range is dead. No wonder. It's boiling over there. The field is shrinking. Calm down, Yasna. It will hold. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. It's not a machine, it's the devil himself. I'm telling you.
Shit. I'm losing connection. Do you see anything? They're creating a tight formation. A cyclone. Fucking shit! That can't be good, right? What was that? You tell me. Can't you see anything? The mid-range is dead. How about the long range? Uh, the long range works. The cloud has stopped attacking. The Cyclops is... Huh? What is it doing? What did you see? The cloud... one. What? You said... Don't count on the Cyclops anymore. The circuits must have gone haywire. It shot down the probes. Now it's probably operating with a new goal. Like all those machines earlier. I, d I don't understand. How? This is pure madness. Hey. At least we still have the Invincible. Don't mock me. I'm not mocking you, Rahitra. They really are flying here. They'll be here in about... Just... Hold on for a moment, I'll find out. Astrogator. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. The Cyclops got out of control. What do you mean? Just like the other machines. Now, it'll wander around aimlessly. Or even worse. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Rahitra is planning now? I have no idea. Well, then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Nob, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor cruiser. Please come in. Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn active. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still haven't answered me, Lintra. Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rahitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. 
from 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh, that's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. Not a man of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. understand how you feel but you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge we are dealing with creations of necro evolution dead evolution and probably non-sentient ones taking revenge on the cloud is like whipping the ocean for sinking a ship exactly like xerxes we won't gain anything from a mindless attack on the other hand Knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react to radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So. They see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasmin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang on. Creators? Yes. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't... argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves. 
who built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. I'm sorry, but I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis III. Local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I'll even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir, do you agree? Well... Yeah, I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Rehitra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. <sighs> but what else can we do if not attack? We can leave this place and never come back. We have a lander. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. You on the other hand? I'm surprised you didn't evacuate already. Well, I had to make sure you won't do something you'll deeply regret. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. We're here, for fuck's sake, be reasonable. You won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. We'll only needlessly draw the cloud's attention. Stop arguing. But Doctor... No, Astrogator. You can't always get your way. And you, Vahitra? Blow up this cloud yourself and the entire planet if you want. Just let me fly away first. Can you at least do that for me? Yes, I'll wait. I've prepared Hopper for departure, but there's still a matter of access to the landing pad on the bow. How do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Astrogator likes big ships. <laughs> right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is opened. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough. Okay, got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rahitra. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Have a safe flight, Yasna. The Commonwealth ain't all that bad. Yasna, can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Okay. I can still make it in time. You don't think Behitra will start firing without warning, do you? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Are you ready? I'll just close the hatch and... And what? Never mind. I'm gonna strap myself in now.
ready. I made it. Copy that. I'm starting the engines. Three, two, one. Field two, we might get cut off. I repeat, we might get cut off. 